What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to install a head unit. I was gonna do the backup camera as well, but the backup camera ended up being more complicated than I expected, so I'm gonna do that video in the future, so keep an eye on that if you're wanting to hook a backup camera to the head unit. I'm gonna go ahead and put in all the items I use in the description down below, so if you have a Mustang GT or similar, right? then you can use the same products as I use. I finally get to put music into my Mustang. Uh, the old head unit uh, just kind of crapped out. Pretty old and with no further ado, let's get straight to the video. So from the research I've done, which is, which is not much because there's not much stuff out there uh, telling us Mustang owners um, how to install these units. The stuff that we need is, well obviously you're gonna need the head unit. You're going to need these guys. These uh, wiring adapters. Posi hookups or whatever it's called. So you can twist the two wires together from the old unit to the new one. Plate to put around the unit so you can put in the um, OEM location. So let's do an unboxing. Pretty cool, probably won't use it. So this does come with a backup camera, so um, we'll be installing that as well. Pretty cool. And here's the whole unit. We are now in the Mustang. Uh, so first, to uninstall this uh, old unit, you need to remove the plastic that was here. I removed it about a month and a half ago and broke all into pieces. I'm just gonna show you basically of how to do that. That's removed. You just wanna grab it on the bottom, on the bottom here, and pick it up. You pull this out, and you unplug these guys. You unplug all these guys. So I'm just gonna skip that for right now because that is irritating me. All right, so now you got these two bolts right here to move, and they take a seven millimeter. Now with both bolts out, this moves just like this. We we take it out. You just have to unplug all these wires. <laughs> these break so easy. I think there's a CD stuck in there as well from the past owner. But oh well. Now this is the tricky part. Here's the wires from uh, the bag I told you is from uh, Metro. These should plug straight in. All right, so all those are plugged in. I'm not sure why, but my camera keeps stop quitting recording. I'm not sure why. All those wires are connected. We don't need this one. These guys. I'm not sure what these are. The guy who I'm watching to install this uh, unit, he had a wire that came into this little hole. I'm missing a wire from this little hole. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna follow the wire back, and I'm gonna strip this one, and connect the, this is a sub or for um, negative, the ground. So I'm gonna connect these two grounds to this wire right here. Um, I'm gonna zoom in in the video, so hopefully you can see all that, but it looks like a green and black wire. Um, that's, that looks like a ground, so I'm going to use that. And just so you know, the, the positive antenna is powering the subwoofer with these two, with all the blues connected to each other. So that is now stripped, so now let's connect all these together.
all those are connected. I'm hoping that's right. So wish me luck. So this should work how it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it all in, see if it works. There you go. Alright. So, I'm taking a break on the rear view camera and I'm just installing the whole unit. Um, I just put on, from the Metro pack I got, I just put on this piece in the, in the um, back of the unit so I can connect on this rolling back here. I'm not sure if you can see that. In order to play videos, you need to connect this to a ground. And I saw some other video connect the wire straight to this ball right here. So hopefully I can play DVDs you know, whenever I want while driving. I mean, I won't be watching, but maybe my passenger will be. I guess I do need this piece. I should've, got the, should've watched the whole um, video that I just seen, that I just looked up. So you connect it just like that. Then you connect the other piece the same way. Just like that. Yep, and that goes where the holes are. So I think you need to take off this piece. So let's see. Yep, just like that. So make sure you take off that piece. Now uh, put some screws in these holes. Now there should be uh, screws that came with the unit. have these small little bolts that came with the unit. Now I'm gonna install this back. All right, so I bought a new one. I think it was like $85 off eBay. Thank goodness I had one. So uh, let's go ahead and reinstall this piece. Has a little, you can tell this came from a base model because uh, you know, can't hit my head. In order to do that, we need to take these out. They're just dangling there, anyways. Need to reinstall these buttons here. And that's how you install a head unit into your stock double den location. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's 100% worth it if you can do it. All right guys, I've been out here for a couple hours. So as you can see, we are finally done with installing the head unit. I'll do the backup camera in another video. It seems like a pain in the butt. And a lot of people uh, look that stuff up and there's not a lot of good videos demonstrating exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna try to do a proper video in the future. But for right now, I'm just going to keep it just how it is, just a head unit, just to play music. So I'm glad I'm finally able to uh, install it. And it sounds so good. I'm so excited. I'm so happy I got it done. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to press the like button, uh, subscribe, and you know, press the notification bell if you, you know, enjoy me. If not, that's fine. But this is Automotivate. Always appreciate one another. I'll see you next time.